Yay! We're back. I think you can hold this for me. Yeah, yeah. Tell the people where you've been. <laughs> I didn't want to be back until I had a beard and it took me four months to grow one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm just really reserved in nature. After competing, I was just wiped. I wanted to just focus on training and getting better. So I took some time away from filming. I just didn't want to film anything. I just wanted to train and not set my camera up or ask Caitlin to film me. So, um, and now of course we're like at the end of the ball and uh, I didn't film like anything. But I think this is, I'm not quite sure, but I, I, I do have a new coach. Dom Kuza is his name. I think we're like going into a health phase, probably the next like 12 weeks or something like that. I'm not quite sure. I should actually know by the end of the day today. And then from there, uh, we might do a whole nother like growth phase. So like a whole nother section of a ball before I get on prep again, like a little bit later in 2024. So uh, maybe I'll actually document that part and you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. But today I just wanted to show you um, some training. It's been a long time since you guys have seen me like go through a whole workout session. Um, so we're getting ready to do that. Also, Kaylin got these. So we're gonna try these out, these little road clip-on mics. If you guys are OGs and you've heard, watched either Kaylin or my videos, you know that the audio at the gym is so bad. So hopefully this helps a little bit, we'll see. But we're gonna do that. I have a push day today, so it's kind of a fun one. At least for me, it's fun. And then, um, what else? Oh, I can show you my car. I got a car since you guys saw me last. So I can show you guys uh, the car that I got. What else? Anything else, Kaylin? No. It's almost Christmas. We can show them the tree. We decorated. You guys haven't seen a lot. You want to take it? Yeah. Okay. You guys haven't seen a whole lot. We got a little tree, courtesy of... Yeah, Kaylin does all this stuff. She's, she's the decorator. I just go, how much was it? And then I Venmo her like half, and that's all we do. But Kaylin's the ultimate decorator of things. Beautiful. Look. Go, Kaylin. Got all of our gifts, nice and pretty. I've actually, I haven't done, I haven't wrapped a gift ever in my life, and I also haven't unwrapped a gift since I was probably, I don't know, a little kid. So I'm excited, it should be fun. What are you drinking today? That's what I was gonna do. I was just trying to remember what I was doing. Come on in, come on with this. Our closet has expanded. That's really good, the maple waffle protein. What's your favorite pre? What should I do today, Kayla? Maybe the blue, I kinda like the yeah. blue one. Blue raspberry central pre. Look that up. There's like a little bit left. Just like a it. scoop, you think? Yeah. All right. Lemonade pump. This is what we're rolling with today. So we're gonna mix this up. I'm trying to figure out these mics, hopefully we can, and then I'll see you guys I'll see you guys at the car. I'll show you guys the car. All right, love you, bye. I can't see a damn thing. <laughs> damn. What? It's just we just got a. Well, I just got it washed, and it's just covered in. Look at all the dirt and dust. And... You need to hire anyway. someone to do it. <laughs> yeah. Every day. Do you see all that on the bottom? Well, I guess everywhere it's covered. Yeah. Where did we go yesterday? One day in the rain, we drove to the gym. Well, you guys are gonna see it all dirty, but this is the new car. I can't remember what packages I got on it. Some carbon fiber executive package. Um, some light. Track package or some shit. The roof, there's no moon roof. It's like all, all carbon fiber. It came with like uh, little blacked out emblems already. All the chromes like deleted and stuff. Uh, should I back it up and show the front of it? Of sure. She looks 
Jeez, it's all dirty. It's it's sad that I'm showing you guys it like this, but it is what it is. She's beautiful. I'm like so anal about it and stuff. And show you guys. Just the other day. I mean, this is like a month old. This car is like a month old. Somebody opened up their door and whacked my shit. So. And that Some, happened to his old car too. Yeah, same thing. When as soon as I got my old car, which is right there, uh, somebody did the same thing. So maybe it will buff it. I don't know. It's a pretty deep scratch. It feels like maybe they can buff it out. That'd be nice, and then just pop out the little dent. But it is what it is, man. And here's the inside. We got the red leather interior, the little carbon fiber package. They have a bigger screen in this one, like my old car has a small one. The screen's like super long, it's just one big long screen. And obviously you can see you got like the little carbon fiber sport steering wheel. Pretty cool in the M, the M seat belts and stuff. Yay! So much fun, so much fun. Super happy I was able to get it. And it would not be possible without you guys, so thank you. You gotta get it clean, it's all I'm thinking about, but <laughs> okay. we're gonna head to the gym. I'll see you guys at the gym. Love you, bye. Picking up the sound? Yeah. Hello, hello. Okay. <laughs> we made it to the gym. It's kind of busy. Might have to work around some stuff. All the benches are taken, I think. Okay. But we'll see. It's push day, so it's fun. I'm excited. I'm stiff as a boar as this bulk has progressed. Kayla and I both have just become less and less mobile. I think we just got a little lazy with the mobility work, to be honest, but trying to get some of that back. At least I can still touch my toes, kind of, but it's crazy. Um, also, you guys probably don't, I mean, you haven't seen anything. I'm like 200, I was like 253 pounds this morning. Um, this is like my last check-in on this big growth phase, so it's probably gonna be as heavy as I get for now. And then I'll probably, I'm assuming food will probably be dropped for a little bit. Um, so I'll get a little bit leaner, have like a more of a leaner body composition, and do another push. So from there, we'll see what we're gonna do, but all right. Dumbbell. Has this been your favorite training day? Push? Yeah. Pushing legs. To be honest, like back has been so not boring, but I think it's just one of those things you can't see it. It's not as exciting. I don't know. The legs has been fun just because I can feel myself improving. Like literally every session I'm like hitting a new either a rep or a weight PR for my working sets. And then push day's just fun. It's nice to have a good chest pump. So but this is yeah, this are legs probably. set will be my top set. I'm just gonna do a couple reps, make sure I'm nice and warm. It's more like a confidence builder than anything else. super far behind me and that's more just have like more explosion I can use more of my whole body to leverage the weight up a little bit if you see on these incline presses I mean it's just in general when I'm pressing I'm not really doing that much anymore I try to utilize a little bit less leg drive just to keep the tension all in my chest and I'm not like 
I'm not like compensating using other muscle groups. I just yeah. want to put all the tension on my chest. And also, I'm like so delt dominant. I'm really trying to think about keeping my shoulders like screwed into the bench. And I'm not like dragging my shoulders forward at the top of the movement. I'm like pretty internally rotated. I'm trying to work on that a bunch. So I'm just trying to keep my shoulders back as far as I can, just pin back on the bench. And I'm coming down at like 45 degrees. My elbow's trying not to get them out too wide. They're not too narrow either, like a, like a close, almost tricep dominant press. Yeah, it's helping a lot, but just some things to think about. Like if you're, if you're focusing on like hypertrophy and actually not trying to like lift as heavy as humanly possible, but put as much tension on the muscles as humanly possible, then I would eliminate a little bit more leg drive. Just focus more on like the quality of the contraction of your chest. I've been trying to work up to like a top set of like eight to 10. I got seven last time I did this. I went the same way, so I'm just gonna try again. We'll see, hopefully we get eight. to do just one top set I'm doing a back up set we're trying to get like 12 ish reps a little bit more slow and controlled than the last one obviously I try the best I can with the, that top set if it's not as slow as I could possibly go the back up set I really try to do that um, I don't know what do you think the 120s or something or 115s or... maybe do 115 so you can get like Slow and pause and stuff. Yeah, really quality reps. Okay, so we're gonna do that. It's just one top set and one back off set. And then on to the next exercise. So we'll get this done and then we'll move on. up like a lot higher so I was sitting comfortably and like these handles were like here I was coming down to like my fucking upper abdomen for an incline press so it's like you're sitting on the floor but it's okay it's nice it's a nice movement so good just being on like a, a fixed plane of motion sometimes allows you to not worry about like stabilizer muscles or anything like that um, so 
you don't have anything like this, like a chest press or a Smith machine or something, or if you don't have that in your routine, I highly recommend it. Um, even it's just like a heavy, one of your heavy compound movements, so you can like test your strength, but also like not have to worry about stabilizing and um, keeping yourself in that fixed plane of motion. Where the machine just does it for you, and you can just squeeze your shit as hard as you can. to when I train. A lot of old rap. Not old, but well I guess now it is. A little dated. Like 2000, I don't know, seven, eight, like Lil Wayne. And that's all the good chunk of it at least. Cable flies. I'm supposed to do seated, so I'm sorry, Dom, but I just get a better con contract. I just get a better contraction this way, standing. I like to set the cables like a little bit above my shoulder height, so I can kind of press more outwards, and squeeze everything in the middle. Um, there's no like upper or lower chest bias necessarily. Uh, I'm not coming down like this. We're like scooping up like this. I'm just kind of going straight. Like I'm doing a pressing movement, but with a nice solid stretch in the, in the back half of the movement. Feels good to me, it's what I like to do. This is another one. You Trap won't be star. disappointed. Trap star. Young Jeezy. You won't be disappointed. I should. Do you have a playlist that people can get use? I need to do that. On Apple Music or do you do it on Spotify? On Apple. I need to do it. Heavy as possible on this one. 
just now that we've like done all the blunt force trauma that we possibly could have done to our chest, it's just like pump in as much blood as possible. Um, some more bicep movements, some more chest movements. I actually have like bicep movement on push days and stuff now. It's definitely like a weak point of mine. Biceps, like I feel like that's the biggest weak point of mine. So I have them on like push days. I have them like quite often in my programming, but also just like intensifiers. So like more, like a couple extra exercises where I'm just cranking out as many reps as humanly possible, doing even just partial reps and stuff. Um, yeah, so like a couple changes as of recent, but I like it so far, I like it so far so good. chest movements like the give out point for me was when my delts were dry as opposed to like my chest and like finally now like the last few months I'm like really paying attention to um, setting up properly and not like blasting my front delts and just use like my ego was the biggest thing even back when I like started lifting I had horrible knee pain squatting and stuff like that and as opposed to like fixing the problem my ego was like too big I was getting strong I didn't want to stop and then like I would hit legs, I wouldn't be able to like walk for three days because I'd be in so much pain. Um, it sucks starting from like the ground floor and from square one, but if you have like the same issues, drop the ego, drop the weight, and you can scale your way back up. Like it will take a little bit of time, but you'll work your way back up and then at least that way you're doing it properly. It took me so long to learn that. I'm kind of moving forward. I'm not going like straight out. At least for me in particular, like coming slightly forward and dragging like with my pinkies up, sort of leading with my pinkies essentially. Not like dramatically like this, but just leading with my pinkies, coming more like outward and forward with that twist in my hand. I feel like smoke my medial belts. Just feels better for me. I don't know if you guys don't try it. Maybe give it a try. Maybe it'll help you too. Well, sticky. Yeah, very
set. <laughs> These are feeling pretty good, but I'm like really fatigued at this point. Yeah. Like two more movements, so it's just one tricep, one bicep today. So it's not too bad. And my split, I don't even know if I've gone over like my split, but it's push, pull, legs, and then it's rest, and then it's upper, lower, rest. So it's like full upper, and then lower again, but uh, yeah, it definitely, it's like, I smoke everything twice a week, and it's just a different change of pacing I'm not really used to. I've done push, pull, legs, rest, repeat, like for so long. So it's nice to get two rest days a week, um, but also crush everything twice a week still, so. Trying to get a good pause at the bottom. Nothing too serious or like complicated about this. Just a good stretch and a good squeeze. Try not to pull like straight down like this. Try to bring the weight like out to your sides with the ropes. And just squeeze that motherfucker. talked about this I can't remember the last time I filmed the YouTube video so <laughs> I don't remember what I said like last but like last year I essentially didn't train arms directly really like I was not consistent yeah. about it I barely trained arms like directly there wasn't even much of my programming anyways um, so I'm like was surprisingly weak especially in bicep movements and that's why they became such a weak point I think I blasted everything like I trained really hard last year but I just kind of neglected a whole body part. But like now, I don't know, I started at like 25s, 30s for supernated curls. And like my muscular endurance was bad. You know, like 40s is a warm up set and it's easy. So I don't know, I'm not super strong, but I'm getting better. Feels good. Classic. Classic. Oh, I'm gonna shit my pants, I think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right, Kay? Yep. You wanna do a set real quick? Hell no. Can I show them your shoes at least? Yeah. Kay's not doing a fit check. You won't even see your face today, but. <laughs> wow. You got me these. Beautiful. Oh. 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 <laughs> Shake it. Shoulder. <laughs> Say hi.
Hi. How are you guys? Good, how are you? Are you guys doing YouTube today? Trying. Trying. Yeah, think, yeah. <laughs> we'll see if the mics even fucking work. We're like so cool. Tired? Yeah. You busted your ass in there, man. Yeah, yeah. Good job today. Thanks. Do a good job. Thanks for filming. This is butter. Sorry, okay. guys. I don't know what the fuck is up. <laughs> we really don't know what we're doing. We're no. just trying. We're winging it. People so. are like, more YouTube videos. We're like, we literally don't <laughs> even know how to operate a camera. We can't color grade. We don't know how to do it. We literally download this Final Cut Pro, chop it up. Kalen's way better than me, but. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. To be honest, and like I was really self-conscious a lot of the time. This bulk, that's why I kind of went MIA. Is just like I don't care who you are. It's like a little bit mentally challenging, like putting body fat back on and feeling comfortable posing and doing all this stuff. Um, so yeah, I apologize for kind of disappearing, but you know, mental health is important. I am just a normal guy. I'm really reserved in nature. I'm an introvert by nature, so. Um, I didn't really want to talk too much. Just wanted to focus on working hard and getting better. Um, spending quality time, you know, like when you're on prep, you're not getting a lot of quality time with friends, family, or anything. Your significant other, Kaylin. So we've just been wanting to try to like be normal for a little bit. Not worry about getting content every second of the day. And uh, it helped a lot. I feel good, honestly. And I'm like ready to make content again, which is cool and exciting. But yeah, long story long. Sorry I took forever to post, but I guess I'm back. We'll see. Hopefully I keep this up. Hopefully I keep this up, man. Um, but the lift was good. That was fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you do, please like this video. You know, I've been gone a long time. Maybe we can get a little boost. We can kind of push this video out a little bit. Like, comment, subscribe, you know, do all that fun stuff. I appreciate you guys watching. And again, actually I didn't say it earlier, but Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Everybody be safe. Kaylin and I are going to Hawaii in just a couple more days. I can't travel and vlog. I probably won't do it. Kaylin, are you going to video it? Maybe. Maybe we'll Kaylin will do it. <laughs> I don't know. But I'll be I'll, I'll post pictures and do all that fun stuff. So if you follow me on the other socials, you'll probably see what I'm up to. Uh, but thanks for watching. Love you guys. We're going to head home and eat. Uh, we're kind of behind on meals. So uh, love you, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.